Corcobrachialis gets its name from a combination of corcoid and brachium. If you'll remember, corcoid was the thing that was shaped like a crow on the scapula, and brachium means arm, and these are the two places that it attaches. So when you see corco, think crow, and when you see brachialis, think arm. Here in blue is the corcoid process. We've already seen that the pectoralis minor attaches to it. Here is the corcobrachialis. So let's see where it fits underneath the arm with the muscles that we've talked about so far. We just need to remember that it goes in front of the latissimus dorsi because we already know that the latissimus dorsi is in front of the teres major. Let's take a moment to look at the attachments. So let's look at it in context of the other muscles and the names that you don't recognize I wouldn't worry about right now because we will cover them soon enough. Behind we have the triceps, in front the brachialis, in front of that we have the biceps, and uh, here I'm just adding the rest of the latissimus dorsi. You can see the subscapularis goes underneath. Here is the pectoralis major and the deltoid and um, just all the other muscles of the arm. Here is the corcobrachialis in clay.